<laughs> Happy Tuesday, you guys! Welcome to Kid Zone. It's one of our first real spring days for Kid Zone. Oh yeah. If you like singing, if all those sunbeams were bubble gum and ice cream, oh what a sun that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. If all the sunbeams were bubble gum and ice cream, oh what a sun that would be. Oh yeah. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. I said standing outside with my mouth open wide. Can I hear you sing that? And standing outside with my mouth open wide loud. If all the raindrops are lemon drops and gum drops, oh what a rain that would be. Good singing, you guys. Get a partner. We're singing Lean On Me. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on, yeah, 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 for it won't be long, short, till I'm gonna need elbow somebody to lean on. You just fall on me, brother, if you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. Problem that you don't understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it won't be long that I'm gonna need somebody to. to have you guys sing away sing away sing away it's good to be with you let's see who's out there oh boy the McCulloch's are watching hello Gus and Holly and Millie and of course the fabulous Amelia and Weston Smith welcome to the program back in the day they called that the program was the show Love you guys. Good to have you with us. It is good to be with you on Kid A Zone. The Kid Zone time. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Everybody stand up. Stretch your leg. A boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rock, a chicka rock, a chicka boom. Let me hear you. Oh yeah. All right. One more time. Let me hear you nice and loud. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rock, a chicka rock, a chicka boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Sing it one more time. All right, guys. We're going to sing like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everybody do this. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rock, a chicka rock, a chicka boom. All right. All right. Okay. Hasta la vista, baby. Get out of here! Ha <laughs> Good one! All right! Do this one! 
grab another toe, grab a toe next to you, grab another toe and sing along. Grab another toe, grab a toe next to you, grab another toe and sing. Sing along. One more time, ha la 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 la, alleluia, ha la 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 la, alleluia, ha la 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 la, alleluia, ha la 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 la, alleluia. All right, guys, this is a good one. Yeah, this one's a good one. Tickle someone next, tickle someone, tickle someone next to ya. Tickle someone, tickle someone, tickle someone next to ya. One more time, ha la la la, alleluia, ha la la, alleluia, ha la la la, alleluia, ha la la, alleluia. Good one. You know what? If you're worried about something, remember you got a great big wonderful God. He's a great big wonderful God. A God who's always watching over us, always taking care of us. Great, big, wonderful God. Sing that with me. One, two, we got a great, big, wonderful God. A great, big, wonderful God. A God who's always watching over us, always taking care of us. Great, big, wonderful God. He will never leave us. No, he will never, ever, ever leave us. He's always standing by to pick us up when we stumble. We're the apple of God's eye. We got a great big wonderful God. Oh, whoa, whoa, great big wonderful God. A God who's always watching over us, always taking care of us. Great big wonderful God. A God who's always watching over us, always taking care of us. Great big wonderful God. Good singing, you guys. Wonderful. Wonderful singing. We're going to do a couple more songs after we do a couple things. Okay? One of the things we're going to do first is... Okay. We're going to talk about um, what... Easter really means. Now, I know Easter. Last week, we watched the Easter story, right? We sure did. And on that Easter story, it told us about Jesus and what he did on the cross. We saw that, right? And so what happened was we, we saw Jesus died for our sins, and he came back to life. That's what Easter's about, right? It's not just about chocolates and the Easter money. It's the real reason behind Easter is that Jesus loved us so much that he came down to save us, right? Well, I've got this great friend. Her name is Jennifer, and she lives in Hong Kong. And um, Jennifer in Hong Kong made a very good video about Easter with her friends. And they explain Easter in such a good way that I thought we'd show that story tonight. So you listen to Jennifer and her friends. Here it comes from Hong Kong, from YWAM, Youth with the Mission. This is the story. Easter holidays. Can you believe it's our last day of school before the Easter holidays? Time goes so quickly. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to painting Easter eggs with my family. And actually I painted one just now. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? That's not an Easter egg. Let me show you what Easter eggs are. Like, I've got some in here. Da, 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 da. Wow. These are Easter eggs. It's chocolate. This here is feeling beautiful. What do you think it looks like? Oh, cool. It's an octopus. No, silly. It's a sunrise. Oh no, I guess it does look like an octopus. It's meant to be the sunrise. The same sunrise as when Jesus rose from the dead. That's what Easter's all about. But we would never talk about Jesus on Easter growing up. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I used to love Easter growing up. 
It was when all my aunties and uncles would come together and buy me loads and loads of chocolate eggs. And we would eat so much chocolate that our stomachs would hurt. <sighs> Those were the good old days. But, but Easter is all about Jesus. Isn't that a fairy tale? But Jason, it isn't a fairy tale. The death and resurrection of Jesus is really, 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 really the true meaning of Easter. Do you want to read about it? Uh, sure. What have I got to lose? Hey, you two. You found the book. Hey, Bear. You're so tiny. Wow, you're here? I came to warn you. Things aren't as they normally are. Something huge has happened. Come with me carefully. Okay, Jason. Wow, it's so dark. Well, oh, and it looks like it's gonna rain. What is this place? This here is the temple where the Jewish people worship God. Wow, look at these beautiful ornaments and this candle holder and the sweet smelling fragrance. And whoa, what's this beautiful curtain? That's incredible. What's behind the curtain, Beth? Behind the curtain is where the presence of God dwells. Wow, the very presence of God dwells here? That's unbelievable. Unbelievable is right. Jason, you mentioned that the book is different than it normally is. Why is it so dark in here? was the curtain tearing into two pieces. The curtain that separated us from God. That means that Jesus, our beloved friend and teacher, has died. He has died a terrible death, death on the cross. I'm so sorry, what happened? Let me tell you a story. It started way, way back. In the beginning, God created the whole universe. He created day and night, rivers, trees, animals, and man and woman. God loved them, and he gave them everything to enjoy. Except there was one tree that God asked them not to eat from. It was the tree of good and evil. But the serpent came and tempted them, he said, did God really say, don't eat the fruit? Doesn't it look <laughs> so delicious? Here, take a bite. So the woman plucked the fruit and they ate it. Their eyes were opened to good and evil. Because they had disobeyed God, their relationship with God was broken. After that, all their children and their children's children, all the way down to us, have lived under the influence of disobedience and cannot come close to God. We have become prisoners of the wrong we are doing, and the final penalty is death. However, God's desire was always to have a relationship with us. It breaks His heart that we are separated from Him. Because of His love, He planned from the very beginning to bring us close to Himself. This is why He sent His one and only Son, called Jesus, into the world. Jesus did amazing works of power. He turned water into wine, multiplied food for thousands of people, and opened the eyes of the blind. He lived a perfect life. 
But the most amazing thing he did was to offer himself as the perfect sacrifice, taking the penalty of death on himself so that we could have a life with God again. Something's different. It feels lighter. tell you this. Mary, where have you been? I went to the tomb early this morning and it was empty. Empty? What do you mean, empty? I mean, you have to believe me. Jesus isn't dead. He's alive. How can this be? His body has been in the tomb for three days. We wrapped his body in linen cloths. He's, he's dead. He died. He's not with us anymore. I saw him, Peter. I went to the tomb early this morning with the other women and we were bringing spices to cover the smell and, and the whole way there we were thinking, that stone is so heavy, how are we going to roll it away? And then we got there and, and it was already rolled away. And there was a man there so I asked him, please sir, tell me, what have you done with the body? And, and he called my name, Mary. Nobody calls me like that. How? How can it be? I think the grief has made you crazy, Mary. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. Jesus is alive. I saw him, Peter. I saw the marks in his hands. He's alive. If you don't believe me, then go and see for yourself. The stone's been rolled away. I knew it! I could have told you myself, Jason! Jesus is alive! How can this be? Nobody just raises from the dead. Everyone that I've ever known who has died has never come back to life. You know, when Jesus was still alive, he said that in three days he would raise from the dead. Shall we go to the tomb? Let's go! You're right! His body is not here anymore. I can't believe it. It's completely empty. Do you think Jesus is around here like she said? Shh, they're talking. These linen cloths. They're the very linen cloths that we wrapped his body in. But I don't understand. If he has risen from the dead, where is he now? And Peter, don't you remember what he said to us in the Mount of Olives? Yes, <laughs> I remember. He said that he, that he was going to go before us to Galilee and that we can meet him there. We can go and meet him, Mary. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on, let's go. I see it now. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose from the dead. I want to follow Jesus too. How can I do it? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> you know, when I decided to believe in Jesus, my life was changed. God is so faithful. The Bible says that when you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you want to follow Jesus, you must believe with your heart and pray and invite him into your life. I have the perfect thing to help us understand this verse. Are you ready for the most exciting crossword puzzle? Yay! I love crossword puzzles. The goal of a crossword is to fill all the white squares with the correct answers. Let's take a look at the questions together. The first question is number one, and it is, if you declare with, as you read the verse, what do you think this could be? Oh, I know. It's if you declare with your mouth. The answer is mouth. That's right. You can fill in the white box here. All right, it's your turn. Press the pause button 
to answer the rest of the questions by filling up the crossword. We hope you have an exciting time! Maybe I'll take a picture of that crossword and send it to you guys, and you can uh, you can finish the crossword puzzle. Wasn't that a great, great, great video those guys made to explain Easter? I'm so proud of the team at YWAM in Hong Kong for making that. They sent it, and Jennifer, who played Mary Magdalene, said, I think your kids' own kids are going to like this, Bob. You can use it if you want. I was like, yes, we're going to like that. We're going to like that a lot. We really like that. What's great about that story is that it tells us that even though sometimes there's sad things in life, and even though that there's even sickness and death, Jesus overcame the grave, and he makes us strong. We're singing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. loves me he who died heaven's door to open wide he will wash away my sin let his little child come in yes Jesus loves me oh yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me, oh yes, Jesus loves me, he loves you. He satisfies your soul like you put a timbit in a dome, not whole. Good singing, you guys. So, if you prayed that prayer with um, the, the girl on the video telling you how to pray to ask Jesus to save you, why don't you send me a note let me know that you prayed that prayer, and I'll keep praying for you. It's cool. Now, some of you sent me nature, nature, nature pictures of nature, and uh, this week I'm going to drop off a prize to you. And here's our new contest before we show our weekly superhero cartoon. This is a picture of my dog. Isn't she beautiful? This is Tia. She's smiling for the camera. She's so sweet. I love Tia. She is a cutie pie. And Tia is three years old, and she's my dog. And I think my dog, Tia, is just beautiful. Okay, so I showed you a picture of my pet. I want you to take a picture of your pet this week and send me a picture of your pet or an animal, your favorite animal. Aw, send it to me on Facebook in the messages, and uh, then I will get you a prize. So... I don't care if you don't have a pet. I want you to send me a picture of your favorite animal, okay? And we'll we'll arrange a prize for you because because you're awesome. 
Can I pray for you? And then we're going to watch Green Lantern. He's an exciting new superhero. Lord Jesus, thank you for the kids. Thank you that you're alive. And that means that your spirit is with each of us. Take away our fear, Lord. Help us to trust you. I pray for your strength to be in everybody that's watching. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. I love you. Just in time, my allergies are starting to act up. We'll probably start sneezing. This week's superhero adventure is one of my favorites. This is Green Lantern. See you next week on Kid Zone. By authority of the mystic guardians of the universe, on the far distant planet Oa, Al Jordan test pilot becomes the Green Lantern, a cosmic crusader whose magical power ring at his bidding accomplishes the impossible. In his continuing fight against interplanetary evil, Green Lantern, guardian of the galaxy. Rocketing a highly advanced jet craft through trial maneuvers, test pilot Hal Jordan, secretly the Green Lantern, is in radio contact with his Venetian friend and mechanic Cairo at ground control. All tests affirmative, Cairo. Cutting in the landing pattern now. Check, boss. Runway 4 is cleared for landing. Meet you there. <laughs> not like him to disappear without a word. Far out in space, Green Lantern's young companion is now a prisoner. A Borg, a fugitive interplanetary raider. Look, Buster, you gonna tell me why you holding me? Silence. There it comes now. What's that? It is an asteroid from a parallel dimension, which once a year appears in this dimension for precisely one hour and on which the guardians of the universe can find for life the worst criminals in the cosmos. Why are you going to do it? To free those criminals who will then work for me. But, but what about? You, little man, are my insurance against the Green Lantern. <laughs> After a fruitless search for the missing Cairo, an anxious Hal Jordan returns to his dormitory quarters. The power lantern signal from the Guardians of the Universe. Make haste, Green Lantern. You must stop the criminal org from raiding the interdimensional prison asteroid. Great meteors. Could that have something to do with Cairo's disappearance? Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hurry, time is slipping away. Have you taken care of the boy, Cairo? I have left him in Creature Valley, sir. Excellent. By the time Green Lantern arrives to rescue him, this world will vanish back into limbo, together with them. Blast off! Arriving over the dark side of the asteroid, Green Lantern, searching for Cairo, illuminates the terrain with his power beam. Must find Cairo fast. Only a short time left before this world dissolves back into its own dimension. Boss! Boss! Here I am! Am I ever glad you made the scene before this place goes poof? Only minutes left to bring those criminals back. <laughs> Great.
great comets. Now it's coming for me. Got to try something else. Only two or three minutes to remain, Org. <laughs> At this rate, Green Lantern will never get off the asteroid before it vanishes. Great Guardians! Work, Cairo. Hop aboard. Any moment now, this asteroid is due to vanish. Don't! Look out, boss! Behind you! This calls for a beam tunnel. It's begun. The return of this world to its own dimension. Green Lantern, help! Have you free in a second, Cairo? Nice shot, boss. Gee, boss, those criminals still on the loose. Yes, and in about one minute, that prison asteroid will be gone. This capsule will protect you. I'll pick up the jet trail from their exhaust. Look, our Green Lantern coming at us. Blast him! Destroy him! This ought to knock out his cannon fast. Only a split second remains now. Okay, Cairo. Not a second too soon for me, boss. Green Lantern reporting to Guardians. Mission accomplished. Well done, Hal Jordan. Once again, you have earned the sacred trust we bestowed upon you in the powers of the Green Lantern. <laughs>